Hello RAS fans, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Industrial Craft mod, which is just updated for 1.5. The Industrial Craft mod, if you don't know, adds a whole new dimension to the game, and um, you should check out the thread page. I'll put a link in the description. But anyway, let's get started. I'm going to be showing you how to install the server and client versions of the mod, so this is for multiplayer. Just so you know ahead of time, uh, you do need the client version of the mod to play it on multiplayer. So if you host a server, make sure to let everyone know that they do need the mod to log on once you um, mod the server. But anyway, so in the description of this video, you'll see a link um, that goes to a page similar to this. If the mod is updated, I will update this file. Basically what this is, is an all-in-one zip that uh, has all the files you will need. So here it says you need mod loader and uh, these two programs here. They are all included in here, so don't worry about that. Um, so you're going to want to download this. And you'll get a zip file like this one. And when you unzip it, it'll have all these files. The first two files, uh, these two zip folders are um, uh, different versions of a program called WinRAR Archiver, which you will need to install this mod. Um, this is 64 bit and this is 32 bit. To find out which type of operating system you have, go to your Windows Start menu, right click on the computer button here, go to Properties. It'll open up a nice window here and it'll either say 32 bit or 64 bit. Uh, use the one that's for your operating system. So, uh, once you've installed that, um, you're going to want to go into your client folder to install the client, which is what we're going to start off with. So open this, and there's a readme file that describes the whole process if you need any help. Um, so first, we're going to go to open your Minecraft, run, and you do need the new launcher for this step. And um, before logging in, go to your options and force update, OK, uh, and then log in. Warning, this will get rid of your uh, previous mods but um, and your achievements. But I do suggest you do this, otherwise you may run into problems. And um, yeah, so it's better to start off a fresh uh, Minecraft jar. So now be sure to close the Minecraft and go to your Windows Start menu and type percent app data percent and enter. Now it'll open this normally hidden uh, window or uh, folder and double click the min dot Minecraft folder. Now this is all Minecraft files. I just uh, deleted my uh, old Minecraft dot minecraft folder so this is what it would look like if you haven't uh, played the game at all and there might be other folders but that does not concern us so uh, this is the minecraft uh, client folder in the all-in-one zip you're going to want to drag in the industrial craft config dot txt in here and you can drag the recipes file if you wish but it's just a uh, like an instruction manual on how to craft everything. The next step, which is actually modding the game, <coughs> is that you want to go into your bin folder, right click the Minecraft jar, open with WinRAR Archiver, and then here in uh, the all in one zip, go to your jar files folder, and then uh, Control A and then control C or you can drag it in uh, and then control V and add and replace so this moves all these mod files uh, all the prerequisite mods as well into your Minecraft jar now the last thing we have to do is delete the meta int folder yes and that'll delete um, the meta int folder which you need to delete otherwise your game will get a black screen. So that's all for the client mod. Now if you want to be hosting a server that's that has the mod, uh, stay tuned. 
Okay, so it's time to install the server mod. If you already run a server and you have a jar um, that's unmodded, then you can just mod that one uh, or uh, download a new one from the Minecraft download page at the bottom. Make sure you download the jar, not the exe, because um, otherwise it won't work. And then so just download that file. I already have mine in a newly created server folder. This folder can be anywhere. Um, I just have it on my desktop. So what you're, you're going to want to do is open your uh, all-in-one zip folder. This time go to server. And there's another readme that goes over the steps, but it's pretty simple. Uh, so go into your jar files here and open the Minecraft server jar with winner archiver just like last time and then control A to select all of them control C or you can drag them and then control V and add in place uh, and that's all you have to do for the server. Do not delete the meta int folder or you will get a corrupted uh, server warning. So that's all we have to do for that. And now I'll just run the, uh, the server and log in to show that you that it works. So as you can see it opened up and it's generating a world. It didn't get any uh, problems. Um, and then I'll just open the game and show you guys that. Okay guys, so I've opened the game and just spawned some items so that I can show you the uh, capability of uh, smelting iron into refined iron. Um, when you do start up the game, um, you may experience a black screen uh, for a short period, but don't worry, um, that's just lag um, and and like it takes normal uh, longer than normal but uh if you just give it some time it will open up so uh don't panic right away and uh hopefully you enjoy the mod so i have some refined iron here and uh so on the multiplayer server and um yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy the mod and if you don't have minecraft or you want a exclusive uh, special account that we uh featured in one of our episodes please click the annotation um in on the video somewhere and that'll take uh you to our newest episode of recruits in suits uh where you can win a minecraft account so um please check that out and enjoy <laughs>